Last week was Thanksgiving, which here in Taiwan means absolutely nothing because obviously they don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Taiwan. But I still like to celebrate it even with people who don't like Australians because they don't have anything to be thankful for. And with British people, let's be honest, the last thing they're going to come together to celebrate is their food. So in this video, I decided to ask a bunch of my foreign friends why they're happy to be in Taiwan. What are they thankful for? So my friends had a party, which is a potluck I had to cook. So this Thanksgiving, I'm making stuffing. First, you need bread. And the only thing more common in a Taiwanese neighborhood than traffic accidents are bakeries, which makes getting bread really easy. Learn how to dry. You want to tear your bread into bite-sized pieces, and the fastest way to do that is to take bites. This is a joke. Don't take bites out of food you're about to serve your loved ones, you lunatic. That's disgusting. Obviously, the fastest way to do anything is to worry about it so much that you lose touch with reality. Oh, late. Next, you want to put the bread into a really low Taiwan, I mean oven, and just to get the moisture out. If you don't have an oven, then just let the bread sit out for a day. While the bread is drying, slice up an onion and cook it in enough butter to induce mass organ failure in all your friends and family. This is the holidays after all, and this part is really important. Make sure your pan is so hot that you burn the shit out of the butter, wasting all of it. There's a fire in my I'm the only one down here, so it seems like I don't know if it was a false alarm and I'm the only idiot who fell for it. The next important step is to make sure you're not recording when you add the onions to the new butter that you'll burn. Again, turn down the heat, Prazi, you f***ing idiot. Trust me guys, I know what I'm doing. Cook the onions and butter until it's cooked, and then add that to the dried bread with the three quintessential British flavors. Liver, onions, and complete dog sh I'm kidding. It's actually rosemary, thyme, and sage. Sage is hard to find in Taiwan, so if you don't have it, then just don't add it. It'll be fine, it'll just ruin Thanksgiving. Next, add chicken stock and let it cool because we need to add an egg. If you add the egg while the mixture is hot, you'll get British food, which no one wants. So slap this baby in the fridge if you're in a hurry like I am, and then add the egg mixing with your hands. The more disgusting the sound, the better. Next, add it to an oiled baking dish. Realize that's too much, so separate it into two baking dishes. Realize that's not enough, and then go back to one baking dish. Trust me, guys, I know what I'm doing. Wrap it up and then put it in the oven, but remember, you're late, so just take the entire oven with you. Now, this step is also very important. You transfer the stuffing into a smaller oven that you forgot to have, and then slap that thing on your scooter, ready for delivery. I've arrived with my oven intact. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving. It's an oven. I didn't finish baking it yet. Where can I plug this in? <laughs> Can I stick to stuffing? I think it's ready. There we go. <laughs> Can I get a score on the stuffing? Eight out of ten. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> Tina! <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm gonna give it a two out of ten just because I haven't had it yet. <laughs> Four pieces there. Three more pieces showed up over there. Thanksgiving pizza. What'd you bring, Eddie? Aside from that sick mustache. Pizza! So this is the Mongolian salad. Nice. So now that my stuffing had safely arrived and all my friends were slowly dying of diabetes, I finally got to ask them the question that's the whole point of this whole friggin' video. What are you most thankful for in Taiwan? My friends. Are you mom? What are you most thankful for in Taiwan? I am thankful for my friends and people in my life to make me happy. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Aside from your annoying ass dog, what do you... <laughs> What are you most no, thankful for in Taiwan? No, no, my dog and Alan oh, and meeting you guys. That's Very so nice. nice. Adorbs. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Josh and Tina? By the way, if you guys need a tattoo, Qingji tattoo mm -hmm. here in Taichung, this is where you get it done. What are you most thankful for in Taiwan? By the way, support me on Patreon to support this child. I promise they'll get the money. <laughs> <laughs> most thankful for you, probably. Aww. Aren't you this would not have been possible? since you pay all my bills. <laughs> oh, definitely my beautiful girlfriends. But my friends as well. I have some great friends and I'm so thankful for this oven. <laughs> I just gave him my oven. 
<laughs> but I didn't really tell my friends that I was going to ask them any of those questions, which is why none of their answers really had anything to do with Taiwan itself. But I wanted to answer that question. I think that I'm especially thankful to be in Taiwan because it's not China. And I've said before that I hate describing Taiwan as just not China, but these days in particular, it's it's really important because what's happening in China is absolutely insane. Uh, here in Taiwan, most of the COVID policies have been taken away. Masks are finally coming off. Life is returning back to normal slowly, too slow, if you ask me. But I'm still thankful for it. I'm thankful that Taiwan is a great place for foreigners to live. And I mean that. I'm not being paid by the government to say this. I think that anyone looking to live abroad is going to do great here in Taiwan because of just how nice and easy it is to live here. And I kind of think Taiwan should start its own Thanksgiving because I think a lot of people should be thankful to be here in Taiwan. It's it's a great country. I think the main reason I'm thankful is that they have the right to vote. It's a democratic system. I don't have the right to vote because I'm not Taiwanese, but I think it's great. I mean, last week in the local elections, the KMT destroyed the DPP. Uh, that was those local elections, which doesn't affect any of the federal decisions. But I think for a lot of people, that meant that Taiwan was looking for closer ties with China, which I don't necessarily think is true. I think a lot of it had to do with the way that the DPP handled its pandemic measures a little bit not so great. At least that's my opinion. It's just more local stuff. It's not federal stuff. I don't want to get too much into the politics just simply because I don't know that much about it. But I think the fact that the people can choose is really valuable here in Taiwan. And that's what I'm thankful for. Because if you look what's happening in China, the people are protesting against the government, but the government is the people and that is the country. Those three things, the government, the people and the country are not separable. Whereas here in a democratic society, they are separable. The, 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 the government serves the people here in Taiwan, whereas in China, it's all kind of one thing in a lot of people's minds. So not the greatest place to be in right now. I wish the Chinese people the best, but for now, I'm very thankful to be here in Taiwan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too offensive. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, follow me on Instagram at prosy underscore SR. Please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And yeah, stay positive, keep your stick on the ice, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.